Uh, look who's here now. Ronald McDaniel is the chair of the RNC joining us this morning. As it stands right now, Christie hasn't qualified for Wednesday's debate. Only three people have so far. But, Ronna, does it matter? Trump so far ahead. <laughs> well, we actually are going through the process, and there are going to be votes, and delegates need to be awarded, and there are bylaws, and that's going to go through, and the voters will decide. Uh, but I do think if all the polls are saying similar things, the polls are probably accurate. You want it to narrow? You want the field to narrow? The field has narrowed. I mean, we started with you want 14. You to narrow it some more? Well, no. It's Would not that be good for the Republican Party? The voters party? will narrow it. I don't think that's our job to put the, our thumb on the scale, although our criteria has made it, has, has shrunk the field. And I did say this to her early on. I don't want people on the debate stage looking for media contracts or book deals or cabinet positions. The fact that we're down to five heading into Iowa, yep. I think, says a lot about the process and how well it's worked. Do you want to offer any comment on the Democrats who are not including anybody except Biden in any process? Let's look at their primary calendar. They completely walked away from Iowa. Iowa and New Hampshire. They're doing everything they can to protect Joe Biden. They're bubble wrapping him again. This is what they'll do. I would be very surprised if he debates our nominee. This is a president who has hidden from the American people. It's worked for him, and this is their strategy going forward. I don't think he'll debate. I don't think so either. I don't think he'll do any he's campaign. He's a bubble wrapped Biden. I, I love that Trump's saying he's destroying democracy. I love that he's turning it on him. I think that's exactly right. You've recently been under some fire, under some criticism. I have. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, we, we've covered the story occasionally. Yeah. You've come under fire from your critics. Vivek Ramaswamy, for example, he's one of the candidates. He's calling for your resignation. Would you like to respond? You know, all of these people, they're the same ones who said we shouldn't have had Fox do the first two debates, right, because it was too liberal of a network. Listen, the RNC, I stand by what we've done. We're in 72 lawsuits right now. People don't realize. In New Hampshire, we just want a lawsuit to keep voter ID. The fact that we're recruiting election day workers and poll watchers, that we have staff on the ground already in 15 states, we are preparing the battlefield for 2024, and the RNC is the only one doing that. Nobody else is in 72 lawsuits protecting the election like we are. You're going to be in the eye of the storm for some time to come. I'm fine with it. You look like you relish it. <laughs> Rada, thank you very much for being here this morning. Thanks, George. Appreciate it. Good stuff.